Oh boy. Oh, that was a beautiful blast from him, though. Oh, Lourdes is... Boom, son. Merry Christmas, everybody, and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel. My name is Shanks, and today we are playing a 2v2 matchup on a beautiful and famous map, Anorian. Everybody is picking random, and we will get to play with the Gondor faction. Gondor-Rohan combination, not bad. Not bad at all. And we will try our best to make Boromir and Denethor proud, and maybe, just maybe, Farami will also get the chance to show his quality. Okay, important step, wall checking. It's an evil faction top side, and a good faction bottom side. So we need to try to focus down the evil faction player, to deny him from reaching to the mid to late game power spike. And our objective at the beginning of the game will be to destroy his Lambrimios. That's going to be the most important move. And later on we will recruit some of the Gondor Knights. And also, we are on the patch 2.22 version 3.0, which was dropping out a few days ago. And all you gotta do is open your BFME launcher, it will automatically update. And also, important to mention is that in the newest version of the patch 2.22, basically the one I'm using right now, the 3.0, also the evil campaign got a whole rework. So if you're looking for a challenge, you know, in those key missions like Helm's Deep, Osgiliath, Amor Hen, and of course Minas Tirith, you should give it a shot. It's kind of mind-blowing. Um, okay, my opponent was actually opening with a Uruk pit, um, which is not a good thing, I think, you know. And I can't really choose the Elven Wood here, because my opponent, the other opponent, is Gondor. So if I would open with an Elven Wood, he will be able to cover this. I'm gonna just hard focus down the Lumber Mill. Reuse skill, And hopefully, it's gonna be enough. And the plan with the Hobbit is we wanna cloak the Hobbit around the settlement. That he won't be able to recapture this, okay? Okay, so, I mean, when you open with Uruk Pit and you lose a settlement outside as Isengard, you're actually kind of poor. What I like to do when I play Isengard is I like to open with Double Furnace. Because then if I lose a settlement outside, I will still be in a good spot, you know? Oh my, no way this happened, right? Minus 200 in my bank to it. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Oof. That's bad. But he's not paying attention to his soldiers. Okay. I mean, we won't be able to deal any more damage. We need to get cloaked, though. Get invisible. Again, he won't be able to kill the Hobbit. Until you use something like a Vision of Palantir, or you need, you need to use your Lourdes, or a Saruman, you can't really reveal the Hobbit. And investing a power point into the Palantir will also delay your industry quite a bit. And this Isengard player definitely needs industry. Can even fight this, no problem. Waiting for the stable to be up on the field, and then we will recruit some of the mighty Gondor Knights. And guys, how is your Christmas? You know, uh, I'm actually kind of surprised that during the Christmas time, Beefy Me is quite active. So I'm, uh, you know, I'm assuming everybody's home. Nice, we cloaked him. Now we will need to recruit one of the Gondor Knights. In the version 3.0, as you can see, we nerfed the movement speed a bit. So the units are not zooming around anymore. It's still faster than the base game, the 1.06 game. But it's not that fast anymore like it used to be in the, in the past. And also we nerfed the good factions a little bit. Because Gondor and Rohan were kind of a little bit overwhelming in those 1v1 scenarios. Against Isengard and Mordor. So we decided to nerf the good factions a bit to make the matchups a bit more enjoyable and balanced but again it's important to mention that 2.22 is not a finished project we are working on it since over a year now and you know still there needs to be still improvements to make it you know fun entertaining but also balanced at the same time Okay, so I will now send my Gunner Knight forward to trample down the Uruks. Uruks, we are coming for you, man. Uh oh, oh, he's paying attention. Does he have a tower, though? Uh, he's building up a tower, but we can... Oh, that's greedy from you, man. Like, when you play Isengard here, you need to build... This settlement, you need to build a tower. That's very important. It's like the key. We can even destroy the Uruk pit, maybe. 
you see that's the start that's the problem with the uruk pit opening when you are playing you know with the isengard faction against two good factions because you are most likely going to lose one of your settlements and your eco is going to be doomed so when you wall check and you know when you do this you need to you can also open with uruk pit but then you need to communicate with your ally that he needs to protect your settlement he needs to send at least a hobbit to your settlement to protect it because if you open with uruk pit and you lose a settlement it's like the worst case scenario i'm gonna just focus down the uruk pit that's gonna delete the pikeman quite a bit nice and you see we are even forcing his ally to come to this location he's gonna use palantium which is gonna give him the movement speed but we can't get away from this no problemo when you use when you are fighting against you know enemy horses with palantium he will be able to outrun you when you go in a straight line then you need to kind of run in circles you know and they won't be able to chase you okay oh rest in peace petty green took the enemy gonna play him is doing a good job map control wise taking over the map my ally went for elma elma is a good starting hero but will kind of cost you lots of momentum too but it's okay, you know, it's a skilling hero. We need to get him to level 4 to unlock the Horse Lord leadership, which will give us additional damage and combat experience, which is pretty good. And late game, it's going to be very strong. But again, we are against Isengard. And Isengard is the faction that can shut down leadership bonuses. What are you doing, man? He's gate rushing me. I think he wasn't paying attention. Okay, beautiful. Again, Isen I think Isengard is kind of doomed. <laughs> no, Isengard is really, really doomed. I don't think he has enough money. So I'm not expecting to see any pikemen anytime soon. Which means I can do whatever I want with my Gondor Knights. But my eco is not looking that good just yet. So I need to, first of all, get a third Gondor Knight on the field. Get the shields, blades. And again, the enemy has Warchant. So basically, Warchanted horses are very, very strong. And I want to creep the troll there too, if I can. You can, by the way, you can use your knights to creep a troll layer, but you can't kill the troll, okay? So what you want to do is you want to lure the troll away from the layer, and if he's following one of your battalions, you can use a second battalion to destroy the layer. And then you can bring the troll, who will be permanently following you, chasing you, to your base. Remember when you play Gondor, your citadel can shoot, and this way you can get additional experience points and most importantly power points. I, I like the 2v2s so much, man. 2v2s are the best format in this game. Oh, he was trying to creep. No, 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 no. Okay. I mean, if he takes the fight, I'm fine. I can also heal very, very soon in about 20 seconds. It looks like he's kind of disengaging. Let's go him now. I think Gondor took all the farms from his ally. And you see, Isengard has like zero settlements outside. Zero. Creep, 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 creep. Get the money and get out. Come on, come on, come on. Get the money, man. Come on, knights. Nice. And now we just send him back to the bees. Thrall will follow us. And then we can kill him with the tower in our citadel. Okay? Our money is looking good. We might also just go for Ganov, but keep in mind, Ganov is not that impactful when you play against Isengard. Isengard is the hero that can shut down any hero in the game, which is Lourdes. So when Lourdes cripples your Ganov, you are kind of locked in place for like 30 seconds, which is a long time, and enough time actually, for your opponent to kill your wizard. My ally is still not ready, unfortunately. He, he doesn't even have Elma leadership, I think. You need Theorin too. So you need Elma level 4 in Theorin. And then you need Fire Rose. It's like an expensive build order, but it's extremely strong. So when you play Rohan in a 2v2 and your ally is Gondor or Rohan, you can do this. Because you have like crazy DPS, you know? The Rohirrim Arches with Elma and Theorin leadership, Fire Rose, they are just hitting like a truck. Okay, we are ready for a beast rush. Our eco is not looking that good yet, but I'm still certain that we have, you know, much better eco compared to Isengard. Yoma, almost level 4. One more speed throw is needed. In the patch 2.22, your speed throw is always gonna kill a horse. So if it, it doesn't matter if it's a Gondor Knight or a Rohirrim or a Warcrider, 
you will always kill at least one unit. Because in the patch 1.06, Yoma was kind of useless. You had to rush him in order to make him, you know, <laughs> impactful. Oh, uh, no pike, man. Look, he is actually having like two Gondor Knights around this area just to protect. And they are war chanting and everything. But I think we still can get away. My ally has to spot me. I'm going to try to run to my ally. And hopefully he's going to come and try to fight with me. Look, the Palantir, you, see, you can see the animation now with the Palantir. The white glow animation. Yoma is still not level 4. I'm gonna use heal. Keep fighting. I can cover this land, no problem. Come on, be faster. Oh, be careful! Dude, we save one unit though. We save one unit. Okay, okay. Oh! Alright, that was close. Losing a Gondor Knight is always painful. Because you lose so much momentum and speed and tempo. Which will cost you lots of time. And time is a luxury in this game. You don't want to lose too much time because that will give like a window to your opponent to punish you. You can crash your farms. Isengard can get back into the game. And this Gondor is doing a phenomenal job, by the way. Look, he has so many Gondor Knights upon the field, you know, pressuring non-stop. The problem is when you are controlling like four or five Gondor Knights, you are most likely going to make mistakes, you know. And mistakes will be to lose one of them, two of them. It will cost you around about 1500. So one Gondor Knight with upgrades will cost you, you know, almost 2k. Oh, Eoma, be careful. Okay, I'm going for Isengard now. I also need... Map control. We are kind of broke, man. <laughs> we are... We are, <laughs> we are poor in this game. We are really, really poor. Okay. So my ally can support me with additional leadership bonuses. You know, when you have Elma and Turin, that's better and stronger than Warchant. But Warchant can't be killed, while Elma and Turin can be killed in where against Isengard. He might have Lourdes, I don't know where Lourdes is. And I also don't know how much eco the Isengard play actually has. We will find out very, very soon now. Destroy this farm. Like, multitasking is very important. Why we are doing this, we are creating lots of pressure. So they need to kind of answer this push. So Gondor and Isengard, they are waiting to be attacked, as you can see and tell. And during this time, we can use other Gondor Knights to get the map control. That's like the plan, right? You don't want to just do one thing. In order to win games, you need to do multiple things simultaneously. The problem is my ally has no heavy armor yet on his Rohir marches. So without heavy armor, they are kind of very, very weak. This Isengard is not even a full base yet, but there comes the Palantir. I, I need to body block my ally. Hold on. What is this Fiesta, dude? <laughs> there is so much happening. Uh, okay. Just kill the Pikeman. I mean, he just needs to kill the Pikeman. If he kills the Pikeman, we easy win this fight. If Elma and Tyrion leadership, it's better and stronger than Warchant. I just got a body block, you know? That's the, that's the thing I need to do. Okay. You see? Even with Warchant, they can't win this. But here's pikemen now. I mean, multiple pikemen. Okay. I want to actually get some power points here. Let's see if he's gonna demolish the towers in time. Oh, we're for level 5 Gondor Knight. We need to keep him alive, though. Again, it's all about... Oh, but Tyrion got crippled and get, get killed. Oh, nice move from Isengard. Okay. The problem is we won't be able to deal way more damage because there are so many Gondor Knights chasing us down, literally. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, sorry, my bad. I can't breathe, dude. I can't breathe. I'm dying over here, boys. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Don't worry about it. I'm good. Okay, so we have now 3.5k. At this point, we can just, you know, try to save up for Ganov. And as long as we don't lose any of the Gondor Knights, we should be able to do this, no problem. 
the problem is we have reached a certain time in this game in which our knights all alone won't be able, able to achieve too much because Isengard is just too many pikemen so I need the assistance of my ally so he needs to be the one who is killing the heroes like Lourdes with his Rohir marches and also most importantly the enemy pikemen they need to be killed by the Rohir marches too so without his support I won't be able to achieve too much okay so here we go here we go I mean, he has pikemen everywhere now, this Isengard. We can even fight this, maybe, against the pikemen, no problem. Lourdes. Oh, be careful, don't trample! Oh, okay. Now run back to the Rohir marches and let them support us. But you see, the Gondor player, the red Gondor player, is chasing me on uh, non-stop, you know? Oh, trample time! I'm coming, crossbowman! Level 7. Run away, run away, run away. Oh! Nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened. I don't have heal, I hope I'm not gonna lose the level 7. Oh, he has Gan of the Grey. <laughs> Gan of the Grey can't even have, uh, doesn't even have Easter Light. You gotta keep that in mind. Okay, so we have also our Gan of coming up very, very soon. Oh, please don't run into the pikemen. Okay, we are fine. We are fine. Okay. So now we can recruit our own wizard. And unlike the opponent wizard, our is not, ours is not gray. Okay? This is not black and white film. I mean, actually it is because it's kind of the white. Don't lose the level 3. Just run away. Okay. Alright, boys. It's about time. Very soon, the Mifrandia will have his appearance in this game. Gandalf? Gandalf the Grey. I'm Gandalf the White. And I come back to you now at the turn of the tide. I like the whistle, baby. You know, the whistle. You know, whenever he's calling his shadow facts. Dude, I still can't believe it, guys. You know, this game was made in 2004. Can you imagine this? Like, look at the graphics and look at this. You know, like the mechanics in this game. They are still so much ahead of its time. That's unbelievable. I want to build up the marketplace, and we can now go ham. We have now literally lots of leadership. We have Elma, Theodine, and Ganav leadership. And there is only one Lord, so the Lord has to make a choice which one to cripple. If he cripples ever <laughs> the Theodine or Elma from my ally, my Ganav is gonna pop off. But uh, when he's smart, he needs to hold his cripple, so it's like threatening. And you don't use it, and your opponent knows that you can use it whenever you want to, and that will put pressure. Guys, do you see this? Do you see the glow on our units? They are shining bright like a diamond. We see Lourdes. We need to always keep our distance. We know kind of the range of the cripple. And we need to avoid getting in the range and giving, giving him the chance to get to cripple our Gandalf. And again, I need the sword from my ally. That's what I need. He needs to kill the pikemen, you know? You can just one-shot them. They have, no, <laughs> they have not even heavy armor. They have no chance. Ooh, Rohirrim summon, that's very interesting. I think we can still fight this. Here, my ally can actually get so many power points, you know. Gan of the Grey, I think that's the mistake from my from the opponent Gondor. He went for the Rohirrim summon and has no power points for Gan of the Grey. Gan of the White. Just fight this. Yeah, just fight this. You can one-shot them, man. You just gotta put Elma and Theodin close to the, close to the Rohirrim matches. That's all you need to do. Yeah, kill the Pikemen, you see? We are melting them. Don't need to be scared. Don't need to be scared. Let's go for Grand Harvest. And then we can... The thing is, in 2.22, you can demolish your marketplace after purchasing your upgrades. So basically, after getting all the upgrades from the marketplace, we can demolish it and build a Siege Worker instead. Um, I'm gonna summon the Grey Company to kill these Gondor Knights. Oh, they have so many units actually inside the base, but they are camping it out, man. They are camping it so much out. It's hard... Oh, don't... <laughs> These running in too much. Say, so paying attention? Oh, he healed him. Okay. That means he has no more heal. 
need to be careful to not give him the chance to cripple our Gandalf. My ally is even bringing Yomon archers. Bring all what it takes to destroy Isengard forces. Again, map control at the same time. That's also very important. But it looks like we are going back to the castle again. Uh, yeah, the problem is, like mentioned before, we reached a point of the game in which I can't do much anymore. He has just too many pikemen inside the castle and too many combos and too many knights. So I need my ally to use the range to crush them. And the point, the power spike we are looking for is Theoden getting level 4 and unlocking the glorious charge. Okay. So I'm gonna also recruit Boromir and Faramir and put them next to the Rohir marches and hope that they will level up. Especially Boromir can be so impactful, you know. When you get into level 4, the 60% increased damage you get from it, it's kinda crazy. Okay. So we are shining bright like a diamond. We are looking very, very strong. Now we can build up the siege works. And we need some sort of trebuchet, you know. Just for the defense and because the opponent is kind of camping it out they are like literally sitting in the base and waiting for us to attack and when they kill enough they they are looking for like a counter push and for the for the worst case scenario we need to be prepared because we can still fight this we can fight this all the time until the opponent isengard gets freezing rain that's gonna be the time when we can't fight anymore Okay, so um, I don't know man, I don't know where Lourdes is, so it's kind of dangerous what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> it's very dangerous actually. Oh, I want to kill this trebuchet, you see he's bringing trebuchet too. Will he hit it? Yeah, he hit it, but I, I don't want to heal this level 3, Golden Knight. I want to keep the heal for my, Gan for my Gandalf if I can. Okay, look, he's not paying attention to the Gondor Knights. And he will lose them, yeah boy, that's what we need to do. So I give the follow command for my heroes Boromi and Faramir. They will follow the Rohir matches, but of course, they are immobile heroes, and they can't keep up with the speed of the horse master, Theodin and horse lord Elma. Also, my opponent has met Faramir and also can have the white now. But they are camping too much, man. They are camping too much. It's so hard. Look how many pikemen. He has pikemen combos too. They are literally in one giant location. And I cannot approach this. You don't know how badly I want to go in there. You don't know how many, how badly I want to go for a blast there, you know? You don't know this. I would love to do this. But it's, I, I'm, I, it's going to be a suicide squad mission. He will get... My Gandalf is going to get insta crippled. And I can't move anymore. I think my ally is too scared. Just kill the trebuchet. Nice. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, I trampled through all of them. Blast them. Okay, he's summoning the Rohirrim. Maybe we can just disengage a little bit. Or kill, 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 kill Lourdes. Kill Lourdes. <gasps> you had the chance to kill Lourdes there. He stopped shooting at him. Like, few more seconds and he would have been dead. You see, they're bringing trebuchet. I want to easterly this. Did I click on him with the warning arrow? I'm not sure. Kill Gunner. Kill, 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 kill. Oh boy, oh that was a beautiful blast from him though. Gandalf got... And I got crippled, that's like the worst case scenario, man. Oh boy, I need to get to the back line to this... Uh, my, my Gandalf is gonna be dead. I'm gonna still try to heal him, but I think he's gonna be dead anyway. Heal him! Oh my goodness, I missed the healing. Oof. Okay. Um, I need to kill the trebuchet. It's very important. My ally has still many, many units upon the field. Uh, now the Isengard player used the land, so we need to be careful. I don't want to lose my Gondor Knights, but I still need to get in there with my Gondor Knights to destroy this two trebuchet. Even if I lose one of the Gondor Knights for it, I don't mind this. Okay, we killed one of them. My heroes are dying like flies. I didn't pay attention. I play so bad this game. Get away there, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. The thing is they have no leadership and they are not even fighting on the land. So they are not... Okay, my ally covered the land. It's good. Okay, so we need to... <laughs> Dude, my Gandalf, dude, it's, it's kind of hurt. It kind of hurts me. Luckily, please don't die, Boromir. 
I want to get him to level 4 so badly. If I can, of course. But it looks like it's not going to be that easy. We need to revive Farami and Gandalf. And this Gandalf is still remaining on the field. And... Oh yeah, rest in peace Boromir. Rest in peace, my friend. It was nice to meet you. Yikes. Okay, we have almost the Eagles though. That's pretty nice. We have almost the Eagles from the spellbook. Which we can use to kill heroes like Lourdes, Saruman and Gandalf. Eagles, they are incredible mobile and also hitting like a truck. So they have like a bonus damage to uh, against the heroes. And even a hero like Gandalf can't withstand them. Each eagle needs to attack you twi twice and you are dead, you know? Okay. I want to go for the beast rush one more time. Bring more trebuchet. I'm just going to put them in the middle. I can use some summon a great company. Oh, are you that greedy? What is happening in the middle? <laughs> some fiesta is happening. I don't even know what's happening. But we can deal a great amount of damage here. Okay, he has zero pikemen in the beast. That's so risky and that's so greedy from you. You always want to keep some, you know, at least two pikemen in, in your castle for the worst case scenario. Like, losing this level 3 furnace is, is so painful. Because you lose so much money out of that, you know? It takes you legit 15 minutes almost to get a furnace from level 1 to level 3. So losing them is very, very... Ooh! I I see you. I want to I wanna summon the eagle so badly. Okay. Oh, we need to disengage. We need to disengage. I mean, if I summon the eagles here, I think it's bad though. <laughs> oh, my ally is even Aragorn now. Okay, now he's popping. Now he's very strong. He has maxed out leadership. That's good. Amazing. Let's choose the eagles. Oh, look. Donating me more power points to Strabishi. Bam, bam. Just kill him. Nice. Kill the other one too. Kill the other one too. Nice. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, that's freezing rain. Okay, rest in peace leadership bonuses. Look, Faramir. Look, Faramir. Trying to show his quality. Look, Faramir. Faramir. And look, Saruman. Faramir is dead. Saruman next. Saruman dead. Amazing. Where is Lourdes? I want to kill Lourdes. I don't see him anymore. Let's go for the combos instead. Where is Lourdes actually? Did he die? Or am I blind? My ally is running through the pike, man! Oh, Lourdes is... I saw Lourdes. He's carnaging. Oh my goodness, what is Lourdes doing? He's massacrating! Look, Lourdes killed everything! Did he even kill Aragorn? And he didn't lie to my history. What is his level? 9? Level 9? What happened to this Lourdes, man? He was on steroids or something. He popped off. And that's... Children is the main reason why Lourdes is the best hero, the most cost-efficient hero in the entire game. He's such a good skilling hero too, right? When you get level 5, you have like leadership, carnage, cripple, crazy. But he's dead. Okay. I have like many, many trebuchets in, in the middle. <laughs> I'm gonna make even more. <laughs> Just, you know, like plenty. Plan T as for plan trebuchet. When when plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, you know, everything fails until T, that's when the plan T has to be coming in clutch for us. Trebuchet spam. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. I have like lots of horses, Gandalf, Farami, Boromir. Oh, he's summoning Rohirrim. Boom, son. Boom, son. Mifrandia, show your quality. I think the Freezing Rain is still active, by the way. But even now, the Rohirrim March, they have high, high levels. So we can still win this. Let's use the Lightning Sword. I'm a servant of the Screw Fire, the wield of the Flame of Arnor. Darkfire will not avail you. Flame of Rohirrim. Oh, we see multiple lands. I'm gonna wait for Isengard land and cover this. Okay, now we can cover this. Now it's our land. You see multiple lands. And at the end of the day, the, the player, the team which is using it first, is gonna be doomed <laughs> because at this point we have all land so you use it first your opponent counters your ally counters and your second opponent oh tilted <laughs> tilted okay he left the game now it's gonna be a 2v1 situation isengard never mind gg well played guys i hope you enjoyed this one if you did don't forget to leave a like to this video and also subscribe for more videos like this in the future i will see you next time until then take care of yourself keep hitting like a track and as always stay beyond standards peace out boys